Hey everyone, today we are going to create this super cool symmetric particles animation without using any plugins or effects. Lately I used this technique in my uh, latest uh, projects that I did for clients, so I thought uh, that it will be great to teach you how I did that. And unfortunately when I started to record the tutorial I forgot to connect my uh, microphone so I recorded the tutorial through my uh, microphone of the webcam so the voice quality this time will be a little bit bad so sorry for that guys but I think you will be okay so without further ado let's get started So let's start the tutorial by creating a new composition. Let's call it Master Comp as usual. And let's work on the Full HD composition, making it 30 frames per second and 20 seconds is okay. And now uh, this trick is actually created using a text layer and now you will understand why. So select the text layer and click here once to open the to open the text line and now write down a point all right uh, write some uh, let's say uh, nine points and you can download this uh, project file with the already animated uh, scene if you want to save some time the link is in the description all right and now uh, select the points and scale them up let me change the preview quality to full so we can see it better. Uh, make sure all the preferences here set to, uh, you know, to default. And now let's try to design these uh, points. We can actually design them uh, by changing uh, just the font. So you can pick uh, the font you like and in any font uh, the point looks slightly different than the other. So this time I wanted to create a symmetrical circle point. So uh, I found that Poppins has uh, the symmetrical point. So I'll select those. Um, let's choose the regular ones. It's okay. And now let's uh, open the proportional grid so we can see what we are doing. Uh, it will help us to spread these points across the frame. So first, uh, please make sure your uh, text is uh, aligned to from left to right. All right, in paragraph, if you can see it, uh, you can find it uh, on, on window. Uh, here it is. And of course, uh, the text direction is from left to right. And now let's select the selection tool and place the first point right here. Let's zoom in a bit and uh, place the anchor point in the center of this point like this. We don't have to do this, but uh, you know, why not? All right, so this one is uh, in the center. And now all we need to do is to create a a bigger distance between the points and we can do it using the actually the tracking all right property of the text so the maximum you can go is uh, i think it's 1000 you can not go over this 1000 you see so in our case we can set it uh, i don't know let's set it to 550 and it looks okay and now uh, all we need to do is we need to double click on the text uh, press ctrl c to copy it now let's press the right arrow to go to the end of the line and then press enter to uh, down the line and press ctrl v or command v to paste it now let's press enter once again and let's do it uh, let's say one more time now let's press Ctrl or Command A to select it all. And now using the uh, leading, we can adjust the, you know, the distance between those uh, points like this, 180. 
two in my uh, case in your case it might be different number anyway let's move on let's go back to the selection tool then we can turn off the grid we have here so now we have a very nice symmetrical points in the frame and to animate them because this is a text layer we can use a text animators all right but to animate them in the 3d space we first need to we first need to enable the per character 3d and now when we add the position uh, animator we will create uh, the first animator with the position property we will have the z value here all right that we can change if you don't enable it you will not uh, have the z axis so let's enable it and now let's set the if you don't know how to use text animators uh, i highly recommend you uh, to learn it because it's a uh, super fun and it uh, is a very important skill uh, in motion graphics so if you want to learn more uh, how to use text animators and create uh, different types of text animations you can check out my course text and motion the link is in the description all right and now let's set the z, z axis let's say you can hold shift while dragging it so let's place it uh, somewhere around here let's say minus 2500 all right and now uh, we will add for this animator another property all right we're not creating another animator but we're adding to this animator another property and uh, we can add the opacity and we can add another one which is blur so when the text will be in this position and the blur will be let's say 20 and uh, the, the opacity will be zero so right now we won't see anything and it's because we need to adjust some uh, parameters in the animator so first let's open up the range selector one which is all the properties that affect our animator and uh, we can open the advanced menu and now uh, for the shape we can change it to ramp up which means uh, the animation will start with the first uh, character you can also uh, randomize it if you want yeah well, in our case we will randomize it so if you don't if you want it to, to be you know one by one so you can make it uh, like this let's start with the without the randomize then we will randomize it. for now let's set it uh, let's turn it off all right and now i want to create actually the animation for this and to create the animation we just need to uh, adjust the offset property so when it will be a minus uh, 100 so all these properties will be applied so let's set it set the first keyframe yeah. and now let's move let's say to second number two and now uh, let's set it to 100 100 is the position of this text without uh, all these changes of the parameters that we added to the animator so now we will have this nice animation let's set it let's create the animation uh, you know three se three seconds so it will be a little bit more dramatic great uh, you can actually set the opacity the position of this so let's say to minus 3000 and let's see how it will look it will start yeah it will uh, in my opinion to better great and now to um, improve the motion of this animation you can play around with the easing of this uh, animation we created so it's like you know like uh, changing it like easy is those keyframes and then changing the the curve here in the speed graph editor but when we make it when we do animation for text layers using text animators then we can adjust it here so the best setup for this is uh, let's say 20 
on is high and 80 and is low and it will look like this all right so now we will ha we have this and let's try to see how it will look when it will be randomized so let's see yeah this looks great uh, and now I want to increase the blurness so let's set it to let's say 50 so we will have a uh, much more blurness in the beginning yeah that looks cool of course you can create a uh, you know you can go here and you can change them here for, for numbers to numbers and stuff like this and uh, you know you can adjust everything you need but you know scale it down scale it up and it will look uh, very very cool if you need to create some you know animation with numbers you can do it I will press Ctrl Z to undo my action and yeah and now I want to create a outro animation for all this uh, for, for all the dots so for this I will create another animator I will leave this animator alone and I will create another a new animator so to create a new animator make sure you're selecting the text all right and only then go here and create another animator and in my case I want to move them to the side so I'll pick the position property once again and now I will stand here with the time indicator so I can see all my uh, dots now uh, I will move it to the side right here and of course we don't want uh, this uh, dots to be placed here so first let me change it to rounded number okay and now we need to animate it so we want the text in you know in the beginning uh, to be uh, here so for this we actually need to let's ch uh, change it up to program up for now and let's uh, now we need to do the op opposite take for the outro animation so 100% we want right now okay so all this time that will be in 100% meaning the position of these dots will be here and then let's say at the uh, second number 5 we will set it to minus uh, 100 which means it will be a uh, disposition will be applied and uh, of course let's uh, make this uh, to 80 by uh, 20 by 80 once again let's see how that looks yeah it looks very nice and uh, actually I will randomize the animation here as well like this great and uh, yeah so to finish things up we actually can create a new solid layer to create it let's call it green make sure this is the comp size I set it to the color you want I want the black color press ok and I will then go to the effects and presets and search for the grid effect all right so you can adjust at the grid uh, using the properties from here like this uh, you can adjust it uh, using these points of the grid or you can adjust and let's set it to for now or you can adjust the numbers of the uh, of the dots we have all right so first uh, uh, as you can see the grid is uh, transparent and it's because we need to set the blending mode to normal now it's not transparent now we need to set it uh, place it below the dots and now all we need to do is to adjust the position of the dots all right so it's uh, it's actually super easy to do first decide where you want uh, the dots to be placed and then let's say how much uh, you know yep. dots we need to create so so one two three four five six seven eight nine ah all right so we created nine one two three four five six seven eight nine oh great so we have uh, nine uh, dots which is will fit our grid 
all we need to do is just uh, adjust the leading a little bit all right like this let's set it to 600 and now let's see well all right and now let's see let me just adjust the final now let's see how much we need to create here so one two three four five six seven eight nine as well so we need actually how much we have here one two three four five so in let's we can adjust and now we can uh, copy this one see then press enter and paste here paste another one here paste another one here and another one here and uh, let's press control command a and adjust it a little bit like this all right and now we have a perfect thing let's see how it looks with our animation this is basically the trick i wanted to share with you and how you can use a text layer and use the text animators to create some nice uh, symmetrical particles animation like this and as i told you you can place you can replace the dots with the numbers and stuff like this if you want and yeah you can play around with the with the grid in case you have the grid you, you in case you have you see the dots are still in the in the cone you need to change some uh, parameters in the second animator because the second animator is our outro animation so we need just to move this a little bit better and a little, a little bit more let's say 1810 like this you know and now the dots will you know go out of the frame and yeah and with this we have finished the tutorial i hope you enjoyed this one and uh, learned something new today don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more check out the link in the description for the text in motion course if you want to learn uh, text animation in depth and like the tutorial and i see you in the next one